And in this video, we're going to go through and we're going to start setting up the animation side of things. So we're going to create our anim layer interface, our animation layer, as well as our basically constructing our animation blueprint. So to begin, here's where we're going to start creating new logic. So I'm going to go to my tutorial folder and I'm just going to create an animation layer interface. So let's see, do ABI animation blueprint interface underscore. We'll call this tutorial. Open that on up. We're going to give a new animation layer. We're going to call this one tutorial procedurals and we're going to give it an input. So we can leave that as default, compile, save, and that's done. Likewise, we're going to create a animation blueprint for that layer. So we're going to do this for the skeleton that comes with the uh, anim starter pack. So that one, so we're going to do anim bp underscore tutorial layer. Open that up, go to class settings, implemented interfaces. We want to add the animation blueprint interface tutorial. Then we want to open that up. And here's where we want to put basically all the content from the tutorial or sorry, the example content in here. That's just to save us a lot of time. So we're gonna go to blueprints, pawn, animation, layers, and find our procedurals layer. You could open that up and basically just control A, copy, and control V. From here, go ahead and plug the output pose in, as well as the input pose. Now it doesn't matter where basically this works from a top to bottom so this is gonna change probably over time it already has so just go input pose at the very top output pose at the very bottom that is something i will maintain and keep consistent now here we're going to have some warnings and some of these we can pretty much ignore so but we're going to fix up a lot of them just because we do need to change the actual parent class because a lot of these variables it already has so if we go to class settings, we can change the parent class to the SKG shooter framework anim instance, like so. Compile, save, and now many of them are gone. The only ones we're gonna have issues with are where we have spine bones that are not actually active or exist in the UE4 Manny. So for example, this guy, we're using spine 05, we're using the top spine bone. Well, we only go up to spine three. So we're gonna select that, the other option is to just bypass this node altogether. And then we have our actual spine. So lean left, lean right, as well as look up, look down. So we're going to start this because again, remember we only have three spine bones. So one, two, three. So we're going to do a one, two, and three. Then exact same thing on the bottom. So spine one, spine two, spine three, spine one, spine two, spine three. I goofed here. This needs to be spine one. And this is all stuff we can tweak later. So now that we have our layer, we can close all these down and we can go to our anim BP here for the tutorial. So I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it inside of our tutorial and name it anim BP underscore tutorial. Open this on up. We want to go to the anim graph. And I'm going to go ahead and change it over. So I want to make the mesh, use the anim bp underscore tutorial like so. So now we want to add an animation layer. So we're going to click the plus sign. And oh wait, I goofed. One second. All right, delete that. We want to add the interface here as well. So go to add under implemented interfaces, abi underscore tutorial. And under here, we have our tutorial procedurals. So what we can do is we can just drag it out. Plug it in like so. So this is enough to kind of get us started. However, we need some additional work after this. So we want to apply the IK. So what I mean by that is we need to actually make it do stuff. So this applies everything to the virtual bones that we made. 
And the reason for this is when we split the upper and lower body, even though we have a blend mask that separates the two, like we did in the previous uh, video, it doesn't fully separate, so to speak. So what I mean by that is your lower body will still influence IK handgun, even though it's not set to do so. So what we want to do is we want the two bone IK. We want that node and we want a copy bone. So we want two of the two bone IKs. However, I'm just going to do one because the other one's going to basically be identical. So we're going to plug these up like so. And we'll link them together. All right. So copy bone. I'm going to remove the pins because I just don't want them. We want the copy translation and copy rotation. And we want to copy from VB IK handgun to IK handgun. So the source bone, this is where we're going to get the transform from. So that's going to be our VB IK handgun. And our target bone is going to be just IK handgun. That takes care of that. I want to, same thing, get rid of the pins. Where's the effector? I guess because it's not in a specific space. Doesn't matter. So this one's going to be, uh, let's see, hand R. So we're going to do the right hand first. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to bring us, so wherever we have IK hand R, we're going to move IK hand R to it. And now that I'm thinking about it, this already exists here as a good reference. So literally... And the anim graph of the example, it's just these two. So to save time, you can copy and paste from here to here and literally just plug it in. And that's it for that. And that also goes ahead and uh, contains some decent joint target values to kind of get you going. So let's move this over here and get a little bit more in order. And that's fairly clean. Okay, so moving on. We don't really, oh, let me enable that. Make sure this is enabled. We need to kind of set up, I'm trying to think of what it's called, some way to really show it. So first thing we can do is we can actually go ahead and link our layer with the tutorial layer, like so. And that'll make that node long. And bypass like such. But we do need some more appropriate animations. So you can kind of see things like the left hand being attached to where the right hand is supposed to be, so IK hand R. If we disable it, it goes back to normal. This is all stuff we're going to work out in a future video. So basically in the example, what I've done is I have two layers. One is an unarmed layer, and another one is a armed layer. So what I can do by that is when I press play, let's kind of see it by the shadow as I look down you can see we're primarily looking at the neck and the head and the arms are still by the side when i look up same thing most of the neck arms are still down the side and likewise leaning is pretty much just kind of done with the head there's nothing really more but once i pick up a firearm looking down becomes a lot more of the spine so they are completely different and leaning same thing happens down at the spine so that's something we're going to want to set up uh, probably sooner rather than later, just to keep things simple. But we, for the most part, have ourselves a basic setup for the NMBP. So, again, it's very simple to do what I just showed as well. It's no different. This just gets swapped out. You could ignore those. This just gets swapped out for if we are equipped, we use the equipped one with the full procedurals. If we are not equipped, meaning we're not holding anything, then we do, well, the unarmed one, the simpler one. So I'll see you in the uh, next video.